Hi guys, this is Uzai and today I'm going to talk about the transferring process of metahumans between different computers. Before starting, I would like to give you some great news because I was working on very cool features and that's why I couldn't share videos on YouTube for a long time and currently making the tests of those new features. I'm not going to explain it right now, but you will see and working for better and maybe game changer solutions for metahumans and hopefully share all of them with you. Hope you will like it at the end and now let's get started. All we need is a myosin and a DNA file for this tutorial. By the way, I created my character by using Metapipe which is a very powerful and effective tool for customizing with humans. Highly recommend that to check Metapipe if you didn't heard about it. And okay. Now, why is transferring is important? What is this tutorial will cover? If you are working in a company or maybe if you use an additional PC, you may want to transfer your existing characters across PCs. The method that I will show you is directly my transfer workflow from one PC to another. The main issue in here is myosin.mb file doesn't hold all of the information. It works with references and searching for files or images outside of the Maya scene. Those files can be textures or related files, or in our case, it is the DNA file. DNA file holds the information of joints data and its connections. You need to set up the DNA file inside Maya manually if you want to change computers. If you don't provide DNA file, the scene will look like this. Also, this happens when you delete your DNA files, rename or overwrite on it. If you are planning to use multiple characters, you should store your DNAs and after renaming them, you should set them inside Maya for each. I will show you how to fix this issue in just a couple of seconds. Open your scene inside Maya and first go to your outliner and click on display settings you will see DAG objects. Make sure it is turned off. It is just for this process. And after everything is done, you can turn it on again. It just hides and unhides some nodes. After uncheck DAG objects, type RL4 on search bar and you will find RL4 embedded archetype node. Click on this. Inside Attributes Editor, there are node settings. As you can see, there is a file path for our DNA. For now, it is set to wrong path. And in here, you have two options. You can paste your DNA file inside that path and set the correct naming, or you can search for your DNA. I will do the first. It's up to you. I will paste my file to that path and I will change my namings. After all done, it may not apply immediately. Just you need to do is restart your scene. I don't use any textures, but with the same logic, you can assign them inside material editor as well. And that's it. Thanks for your watching. Good luck with your materials and bye.